Hello, welcome to the next edition of Greedy It's TV. I'm Pat Williams, along with Ryan Carolla. We're here to do the Cinco de Mayo Nacho Grande Surprise. We're gonna cook up some steaks today, some ground meat, some chicken thighs, Doritos, tortilla chips, cheese, sour cream, guacamole. We're gonna have a huge spread. Stay with us. I'm gonna start off with the strip steak. I'm gonna cut these into small pieces to make it easier to reach around the nacho table whenever we go to eat. Careful, brand new knife, pretty sharp. We have enough meat to feed about 15 to 20 people tonight. We'll see how it goes. Got a bunch of little kids, they like food. <laughs> right, Ty? Ty, have you ever had a nacho grande table surprise? No. First time for everything, huh? <laughs> Next up, we got all our steak done. Got three pounds of meat here, of strip steak. We have 20 chicken thighs, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. We're gonna trim them up a little bit, get them on the grill, be part of our nacho grande bar. Here we are again. We got our boneless chicken ready to go. Six pounds of meat. Strip steak all cut up. Four pounds of meat. Ground meat. Another five pounds. Fifteen pounds of meat for this Nacho Grande Supreme Bar. Let's get at it. We're going to season these up with some of our ingredient seasonings. Put it on the griddle. Fire it up. And then get ready for our big presentation. All right, welcome back. We're gonna, uh, now we have all our meat cut, we have our ground meat here. We're gonna use some of our ingredient seasonings. Um, we have a jalapeno here, we have an Angus steak, Cajun, charcoal. We're gonna mix these up. Uh, gonna leave a little unseasoned for the kids, just so they have something to pick from in case they don't want the seasonings. So stay tuned, we're gonna get these mixed, throw them on the grill. All right, now we'll jump to the uh, jalapeno honey. One of my favorites. Again, can't use too much seasoning. There we go. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Ty, you want to drop a little more in there, please? Or a lot. <laughs> Welcome to the to the uh, the sport of grilling. Again, can't have too much season. <laughs> well, it might be a bit too much. No, nah, I don't think it is. And we'll cook that, and we'll be good to go. Yeah, you'll be surprised. I didn't, I didn't expect it to do All right, that. Got the chicken done. Gonna switch gloves. Move to the steak. All right, back with some strip steak. I'm gonna use our ingredient Angus seasoning. Season these bad boys up again. We're gonna leave a little bit to the side for our kiddos. Try not to pull a tie and put too much in. Then <laughs> again, can't use too much seasoning. That's why we're gridiots. Yep. I got this tie. Oh, if you want to, you can always add a little bit of oil in there as well. Helps bind and stick to the meat, whether it's the chicken, the ground meat, or the steak. Again, we got 15 pounds of meat going on this griddle. People are going to be shocked. Always fun to do something special for the kids, for the adults, whenever holidays come around. Going to switch the gloves up, going to the last meat, the ground meat. All right, on to our last meat. Got the two gradient seasonings here we're going to mix up. We have the Cajun, and we also have the charcoal seasoning. Charcoal seasoning, one of my favorite, one of the most tasteful seasonings is our Cajun seasonings. Going to combine these, mix it together, at the same time, we're gonna take a little bit, put it aside for the youngins. Taste 
tastes like it just came off barbecue griddle. Grill, that is. Just like the chip, the little, what are they called? Briskets, biscuits, charcoal biscuits. Briquettes. Briquettes, is that what it is? Gonna cut that part out. <laughs> or it'll be number two. Number three, actually. That's how you know it's real. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. And work that meat. If you're not working the meat, you never get it to where it wants to be. If you want full effectiveness, you gotta work it every day. So you really have to mold and beat whether it's chicken, steak, or ground meat, you gotta beat the meat. All right, all set, all three meats ready to go. Gonna fire up the Blackstone, get them on there. Start off with the chicken. We have the kids version here. We did sprinkle a little bit of uh, spices in here, but really, really mild. Just give it a little bit of flavor. I would go with the adult version as well. Heavily, heavily spiced on this bad boy. Yeah, heavily. All right. <laughs> Spread that out. And let it roll. Got the new Blackstone holder on the griddle today. Nice little accessories. Blackstone does a really good job giving you all kind of water bottles, spatulas, all kind of gadgets. They give you magnets for the sides. They give you the seasoning for the top of the griddle. So it's my favorite. It's the Blackstone, but you do have other brands out there. But as long as you have a griddle, you're good to go. Kind of a neat freak when it comes to my good and separated and somewhat in line. I don't know. It's just my OCD kicking in. More oil. Strip steak. Another four pounds of meat. Adult. Kids. Let's go. Never have too much seasoning. Never. Looks okay. delicious. Yeah. They're gonna like cook. <laughs> it's not about what you cook. It just matters if you love cooking it. Barbecue. That's all it takes to be a good idiot. Adults, it's almost done. A little more well for the youngsters. If they see any red, they might cry. Again, you can always add a little more seasoning once it cooks down on the griddle. Steak cooks rather quick as well, especially when they're in small pieces like this. So, All right, down to the last meat. We got the chicken cooked. We got the steak. Now for the ground meat. Pound, pound number one, two, three, four, and five of the final 15. Adult version, charcoal, Cajun. Let's do it. Oh. 
Once you become an expert gritty, you get an apprentice. Now we have Ty being our apprentice slash cannon man. You're never too young to be a gritty. You're young to be an idiot, but you can always be a gritty as well. done tables complete ground meat chicken steak 15 pounds of meat four bags of chips peppers tomatoes onions salsa you name it it's on this table now we get to dig in we'll see you next time on gritty tv remember to subscribe and like if you like the content and hit that notification bell so you know we're more videos remember if it's not food if it's not barbecue it ain't food okay. moving on to the